After drilling into a rock that nearly trapped the drill bit, Perseverance extracted a core sample that completely filled the sample tube. Such a large sample would be a scientific bonanza, except there's no way to cap the tube. On this episode of Our Sky, we last left Perseverance among the light and dark tone bands of rock on the outer rim of Jezero Crater, with its drill bit stuck in a slab of rock. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Turns out the retraction sequence had faulted out. This involves rotating the eccentric sample tube inside the drill bit to snap off the core at its base, which also keeps it from falling out of the tube. The engineering team subsequently came up with a retraction sequence that was executed on Perseverance a week later. I can't tell what was different though, but you can see in the last step that the bit is out. The view into the bit nicely shows there's indeed a core sample inside, ready to be brought on board to be inspected and sealed. Inside the rover, the sample tube is removed from the drill bit and delivered to the vision station where the cache cam looks down on the sample tube, snapping pictures as it's raised in one centimeter increments through the focal point of the camera. This means that wherever the sample is in focus, its depth inside the tube can be determined, which reveals the sample length. With the current sample, it was in focus in the first image. It's pretty obvious that the sample is right at the top of the tube. But sometimes this can just be a piece of rock that's stuck. That's one of the reasons the tube goes to the volume station, a sort of poker that can both push stuck bits down and establish how much stuff is in the tube. The tube came back from the volume station with the sample still at the same height, but with a new spot and a slight rotation, evidence of contact with the probe. So this meant that the sample actually fully filled the tube. This was a problem. Every sample tube has to be sealed with an airtight cap, which needs to slide into the top of the tube by about 15 millimeters, more than half an inch. This tube was way too full to be sealed. The plan then was to try to dump some of it out. This assumed that the core was in pieces rather than solid, which is fairly likely based on previous testing. So the tube was loaded back into the drill bit and removed from Perseverance. A few sols later, the arm executed some kind of move intended to dump a portion of the sample, but there are no images that show what that looked like. There is a high resolution image mosaic taken by the front Hascam after the dump activity, but I've scoured the before and after images of this scene and can't see any bits of rock that fell out of the tube. Fortunately, in the view after the tube was brought back on board and shown to the cash cam, the answer became clear. Actually, the view into the tube became blurry, which in this case is a good thing. The top of the sample comes into focus about five centimeters below the top of the tube, providing plenty of clearance for the seal and showing a slightly different look for the sample than before. I'm not sure how the two gouges or divots formed, but it's clear that some of the original sample is gone as planned and hoped for. In what now comes across as a triumphant pose over its latest drill hole, Perseverance used its arm-mounted Watson camera to shoot this selfie, which is actually composed of 59 individual images that have been beautifully mosaiced together by Simeon Schmaus. A swirling dust devil looms in the distance, like a metaphor for the swirling uncertainty surrounding the return to Earth of the 20 samples stored on board Perseverance, with more to come. Even the current sample is a metaphor for Mars sample return. It started out with too much, but dumping a bit of it can make it work. <laughs>